Firstly, the term or description a black hole is a bit of a misnomer as it implies that matter absorbed by the black hole falls through to somewhere, and this is actually incorrect. A black hole is more like a supermassive magnet. The larger the black hole, the stronger the pull, and the closer something to the black hole is, the stronger the pull. The more matter that is pulled into the black hole, the larger it becomes. However, after its initial formation, future growth is actually relatively slow, since though the pull of the black hole is great, the distance involved in space are even greater. Black holes themselves are formed by the death of very large stars, and they collapse in on themselves when they're no longer able to resist the gravitational forces of their own mass. There's nothing particularly special about the gravitational pull of a black hole, other than the size of the mass involved. Like any other body, like a planet or a star, if you're far enough away and travelling at the correct speed, you can orbit it perfectly normally. However, also like these, if you get too close, come under the gravitational effect of the body and fall actually into it. The term event horizon is an area close to the core of a black hole, where it is basically the point of no return, where everything falls into the black hole. At the heart of a black hole will be an extremely dense pocket of matter where the gravitational field has crushed everything together into its extremely small space. So how can we tell that a black holes actually exist in the first place? Well, since they are bodies with mass and gravitational effect, they will affect any other stars near to them. And also when they pass between us and a more distant star, the light from the star is affected either by being blocked or an effect which is actually called gravitational lensing. The future of the universe and black holes is uncertain and dependent upon things like the rate of expansion of the universe and the mass of the universe. However, it is possible that a large black hole may form the starting point for a big crunch. Over billions of years, the gravitational effect of the black hole could overcome the momentum of the universe pulling them into the black hole back and increasing its mass, increasing its gravitational pull until all the matter in the nearby universe has been pulled into the black hole, representing a brick crunch. This time, however, the repulsive forces would start to grow until they overcame the gravitational forces and then we would have a new big bang and the cycle would begin again. So that's black holes. What do you think?